Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Ro here. Thank you for visiting You Grow Ro. If this is your first time, I hope you consider subscribing at the end of this video. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you. Today, we're going to take a look around the house at all of my plants um, indoors, my seedlings, all of it. I've been gone for six days and I want to see how everything fared in my absence. I'm going to take you guys with me in just a moment. So friends, as I stated, I was away for a total of six days. Five of those days I spent with some of the ladies from YouTube. We had a wonderful women's, oh, I'm sorry, we called it Girls Trip 2024. We had a wonderful trip. We did all sorts of things. It was a crafting trip, which I love crafting. I have so many craft supplies and these women are very like-minded. They too have loads of craft supplies. If you look in the back there behind me, it's one of the bags that we got. Those were made by um, TT's Urban Pantry, Tia. She did those, they were beautiful. We had some matching um, uh, tumblers, and then we made some uh, other tumblers, and we made um, shower bath bombs. We made, we did a lot of crocheting. Uh, F.R. Humphrey and myself did a lot of drawing. Um, it was just a crafty, eaty, <laughs> fun, laughing, dancing type of weekend, and we had a ball. It was myself, TT's Urban Pantry, Gina versus Gina, Best Yet Journey, and F.R. Humphrey, and then uh, TT brought her best friend with her who was just as fabulous as the rest of us. So it was a wonderful trip. Uh, we ate good, and uh, we ate all, we didn't even go out once for dinner, did we? Well, we did, we did do one pickup. We did, yeah. We got some fried chicken from a place called Lee's. It was delicious. It was spicy. Well, not spicy to me, but spicy to some of the other ladies. Either way, it was delicious. It was nice and crunchy and then moist on the inside. Mm. But we did a lot of cooking um, at the Airbnb. And uh, we did, I don't know, charcuteries. We had salmon. We had steak. We had bacon. <laughs> we had salad. We had watermelon and strawberries and grapes and <sighs> just loads and loads of stuff. Um, lots and lots of food. Chicken. We had chicken. Uh, we did wings one night. I mean, it was, I can't wait till 2025. I don't know where we're going to meet at, but we're doing it again. And I'm looking forward to it already at any rate. So I did that for five days and then um, I came back to, uh, well, it was in Ohio. I came back my way, but I had something else I had to do, which took basically another day. And then uh, I'm now I'm back. And so six days, my plants had to go without me. Now, I'll preface this by saying I did everything I could to make sure that I touched every plant in this house before I left. So, and all in the hopes of having being able to come home and not have to do any plant resuscitation, <laughs> if you will. So, let's see how my plants did without me. Did did I prep them well enough to take off for that long? I don't know. We we'll have to find out. So we'll start here in my bedroom first. I have three plants here on my dresser. I got a pothos hanging there and then another pothos hanging over my bed. Both of the pothos are looking fantastic. Even if I had come back and the pothos was dry as a bone, you can usually just resuscitate a, a pothos no problem. Might not be pretty for a little bit, but they bounce back, no problems. However, these are well watered. I could feel them. One of my ways of um, testing if I should water a plant <clears throat> is by just holding it in my hand, the weight of the plant. That's how I was taught. I used to be a plant shop manager for four or five years uh, when I lived, many, many years ago, just when I was just out of college. And so um, the lady whose name is Nancy, that's how she taught me to determine if I should water a plant. And basically that means you need to be hands-on uh, with all of your plants in your house in order for you to know whether or not you need to water them. Then I have my 
Ah, uh, what is this? My mermaid's tail here. I did water it, but I watered it the week before. It's fine. You don't have to water this very often. As you can see, it is a cactus. Well, a blended cactus because these are two different cacti. Um, and they were joined right here. And then uh, these were some cuttings my girlfriend at work brought in to me. These look fine. And uh, so no problems there with the mermaid's tail. That's a pink one, by the way, if you're wondering. It's beautiful. And then over here is my uh, red Chinese, or no, what's it called? Ruby Chinese Evergreen, I believe. I watered it well. It's mildly damp. It did well. Looks really good. So no problems there, no issues. Look at that beautiful coloring. Like I said, that one's doing very well. I'm tempted to um, let this one go and let it get a little dry so that I can hang it up and get all the leaves to stand up, you know, so they'd be up like that. But I haven't, uh, I haven't taken the time to do that. But that's one way of getting your leaves to do what you want them to do. It stresses the plant out, but then, you know, once you do that, you don't let it go back to being dry again. At least that's the plan and then here is a spider plant looks great uh, I gave it a little water last night you can always tell with the spider plant when you're getting low on water because its leaves get just a little bit dull and it's right before the leaves start to falter a little bit so I caught it just in time no problems here fantastic so the bedroom plants fared awful well we got no casualties in here whatsoever moving on to my office we got all kinds of seedlings going on in here this is my park seed biodome it looks like it fared very well i got rosemary and lavender lots of strawberries uh looks like my broccolis came up while I was away, uh, what else do I got back there? Some, ooh, nine star cauliflower came up back there. My snowball cauliflower came up back there. Everything in here looks great, so that's fabulous. I might get another one of those. I got that on um, a deep discount recently. They had it on sale for like sale of the day, wild deal of the day or something like that. Anywho, moving on, uh, I had some kale in here that hasn't started. Oh, I see. I lost something here. I lost my uh, seedlings for Sylvetta arugula. So I'll put some more seeds in there. I'll drop some more seeds. Look like I lost one here, but another one is coming up. So I may throw, excuse me, some more seeds in there. Let's look behind there. And in the back, that... That arugula is looking great. Sylvetta arugula is a perennial. And so you guys know uh, I'm working on getting my perennials together, more perennials on the property, and this is one of them. And looks like my Japanese giant mustards are great, as are my hybrid savanna mustards. These are good and they get big. Uh, they did very well for me in the garden last year. <laughs> Over here, I started a couple of zinnias. These look good, these look good. This one hasn't popped yet. I may throw another seed in there. Uh, I have one Dustin Miller that looks like I lost it. And what is this? A golden acre cabbage. It's not pretty, but it's there. And then two Dusty Millers that are larger, look fine. I'm gonna drop some more seeds in here and in here for the Dusty Miller. And more seeds in the uh, Envy Zinnia. Those are beautiful. They're uh, like a chartreuse green. They're my mom's god color. So I wanted to make sure I got those out this year. I meant to grow them last year and didn't get around to it. So that will be remedied. Here, this primrose uh, did not dry out. I, I, I soaked it. I'm not going to lie. So I learned from this that... Um, a primrose does not mind wet feet. At least it didn't this time around. Uh, moving on. These were peppers that I started. 
uh, peppers take forever and especially since I'm not putting them on a heat mat so I didn't expect anything to happen but the soil is still nice and uh, moist so I don't think anything dried out here um, yeah I don't see anything peaking oh take that back I got a jalapeno coming in and oh back here I got a chili chili day arbol and another chili day arbol that back here let's see oh I got four San Joaquin's that's these those plants are gonna be insane I'm excited about that uh, and doesn't look like take that back I was just gonna say nothing else but I got a new mix Parker Joe coming up back there Joe Parker, I'm sorry, New Mex Joe Parker coming in back there. Uh, looks like I got something here in this uh, Mulanto Isleno. So cool. The peppers are fine. They didn't dry out on me. I'm very pleased with that. Um, so it's good to see that they're starting to germinate. When did I plant these? I planted these... 223 yeah it's been a minute <laughs> it has been a minute but they would have germinated faster had I put them on a heat mat but I can't find mine I thought I had one I knew I had two but I, I think I lost um a box of uh plant and growing things and so the two heat mats that I did have I don't have any more I need to order some more. At any rate, let's continue on. Before I left, I watered the heck out of this, out of these um, walking onions. And they are doing fine. Uh, I'll be able to move these outside. I can't wait because I would like to use this unit. But they're doing fine up here. I've been obviously eating them, as you can see. <sighs> Uh, but that's what they're there for. So no problems there. Moving on down. Here's my ink spot tomato. It's a wild child. And didn't run out of water. Fabulous. I've been taking so many cuttings from this. Um, looking forward to that. And then when we move down, here's my oregano that is just <laughs> it's great i love having that in the house um i'm thinking about moving this to the terrarium so we'll see if i end up doing that i think it would do well in there all right so no losses in the office fabulous all right here in the bathroom i have an aloe yeah, it's fine I've been uh, keeping this quarantined because it had, um, it had a wicked case of uh, scale. And I've gotten it mostly under control, but I'm still not going to move it back into the population until I get it completely eradicated. So it's, uh, it's struggling, but it's supposed to be struggling because I'm, I'm working on it. And then here is my peace lily. I keep this one in the bathroom. There's a window right here, so... Um, it gets plenty light. It was, it's been blooming for months now. Uh, and it looks great. No issues there whatsoever. All right. No losses in the bathroom. Yahoo. Here we are downstairs in the living room. Let's see all of my plants here. Wait a minute, something's happening here. Uh, is that scale? I'm gonna have to work on that. These are not looking very well either. Um, these these two plants are bay, bay laurel. So looks like I'm gonna have to look into this. Something's not right here. Hmm. 
Uh, but they're not dead yet, so that's good. And my Enjoy Pothos, not dead. Oh, my Beauty, my Birkin, not dead. Here's another Birkin up here. She's doing wonderfully. And got a watermelon plant here. I didn't want these, but the lady gave them to me. Uh, they're not dead. I don't know why I'm not a fan of these. I just don't, I don't like them. Uh, and the pothos, just fine. We move over here. Here's another watermelon plant from that lady. It's alive. And then here is my uh, scented geranium I bring in every year. It is doing fantastic. Oh, that is like my favorite scent in the world. But I do. I love the scent of this. I've been bringing this plant in and out of the house now for about five years. And uh, it's not the prettiest plant, but it's not dying either. I just keep it and keep on hanging on. All right, let's move over to here. Uh, my Hoya, fine. My ZZ plant, fine. And my Ruby rubber plant, fine. Then here was the, I think this was Mandevilla and something tropical that I brought in from work, if you'll recall. This one is already beginning to grow back. So I did manage to overwinter this in the house. Look at we got baby sprouts coming in. Fabulous. These were beautiful. They had uh, red blooms and it was just gorgeous. Look at here. I need to, I don't know what that is, but it kind of looks like what was going on with that uh, bay laurel. So I will... I will research this. I'll clean this off though. I don't know what that is. It looks like some kind of sap. I'm not sure. Uh, and it has another leaf coming in. I'm quite proud of that one. The other one, dead as a doornail. <laughs> Unfortunately, I lost the other one, but I did keep this alive and that, that's saying a lot. I am proud of myself for doing that. Okay, so it looks like Oh, we're not done. Then over here, we have two more mermaid's tails. They are fine. This is the white one. This one is the green one. They're both fine. And then this Hoya down here, no issues. All right. So now I can say no casualties in the living room. Moving on, we're in the dining room now, and my palm is okay. It is not liking the watering that I've been doing. It's too sporadic. I need to get better at that. Um, my little baby pine, not happy. I watered it well, but it's dry as a bone. It needs a bigger pot. Um, in the back here, my spider plant looks good. No issues there. I got a Hoya growing here. It can use some water, but it's fine. I got two more Hoyas. Both of those are fine. And then here's another different type of Hoya here. Also fine, as is this one. Looks great. And that one. But. The most notable thing I see, well, my choy and my lettuce took off. Holy smokes. But look, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, ooh, flowers. This is the ground cherry, Aunt Molly's ground cherry. Fabulous, we got flowers. So that wasn't near as big when I left. And it certainly didn't have flowers, so that's that's excellent, 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 fabulous, 
That's wonderful news. Oh, yay. Fruit is coming, you guys. Let's check out what's going on in this bottom unit. Uh-oh. We got trouble in paradise, guys. Uh, looks like I forgot to water this unit, I'm guessing. Let's look at all of this. Not good, not good. These are my plants for the uh, hashtag WIG 2023. Dang it. Oh, that whole thing just rotted out. Okay, so there's that. Oh, clearly this tomato needs some water. Oh goodness. Man, and it was doing so well. Look at all that fruit or those flowers up there. I'm going to go ahead and add some water. And oh, man, I was doing so good. <laughs> oh, poop. All right. Oh, these are rusty, crusty. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some water and hope for the best. But dag nab. <sighs> yeah, not good. Not good at all. So there we go. We got casualties, guys. Shoot, shoot, shoot. <sighs> and I tried. I tried to get everything. All right. Well. Okay. <laughs> oh, that breaks my heart. Dang it. So here's what happens when you miss a watering and feeding day on a tomato plant and some, you know, leafy greens in a narrow garden farm XL. It's not pretty. <sighs> well, we'll see if I can get it to bounce back. The, you know, leaves and the leafy greens, not great, but it's not a huge loss. It's the tomato for me. It's the tomato. Crud. Crud, crud, crud. All right, let's move on. Let's see what else. All right, over here I have some, I'm beginning to um, start my uh, elephant ears. And none of these are, have come up yet. That's fine. And then these are some more seeds I started. This is not dry, but it's getting there. These are peppers. Looks like none of them have popped. I'm going to throw some water in there. They should be fine, though. And then over here, here's another surprise. A good one, but another surprise. Everything's happening just fine in here. I'm so glad I put those calanchos in there. There's great, great, great um, addition to this. And there's another one back there. It's fabulous. But you remember mama had two babies? This paddle and this paddle. Well, the babies are having babies and it's too much. <laughs> I am like, <laughs> look at this. I, I just, what? I, it doesn't even fit in the thing anymore. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to break off this larger paddle here and move them down into here. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't see that I have any other option because I think these are probably too young to break them off of the older paddles. So I think I'm going to take this paddle here, which has the two babies that are having babies. And then I'll plant that down here somewhere. But my goodness, would you look at that? See if I can get in there. My babies are having babies. Now, if that isn't a sign that they're happy, I don't know what is.
So we got two babies, one and two, on there. And there's another one on the other side of this. So three on this one, and then three babies on that one there. I don't know, but whatever I decide to do, I got to do it soon because we see how fast these petals, these petals grew. It's been, what, two months? They went from looking like that little nub there to being bigger than my hand in a matter of two months. So I got to do something because these can't be there. Oh, boy. Prickly pear. You really like it in that terrarium, huh? <laughs> And this is where I was thinking I wanted to move all of that oregano down here. Because this is in my kitchen. So it'd be nice to have that oregano in here. I think it would get decent enough light, especially once I pull this paddle off. So we shall see. Babies having babies. <laughs> All right. And the last stop on this plant tour is in my basement. Let's see how the grow tent is doing. great but doing all right okay so uh first let me get some lights on in here to be clear these lights are scheduled to come on in the nighttime um when you know uh electric is a little bit cheaper <laughs> that's why the lights weren't on it is now currently like 8 8 15 in the a.m on a Wednesday, at any rate, uh, not bad, not bad. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, my tiny Tim, doing pretty well. Got some leaves to clean up down here on the bottom, but other than that, nothing happening. Nothing to be alarmed about. Fruits coming in, some of them blushing. That's fabulous. Over here we got, I think this is a red nibbler. Yes, it is. Red nibbler. Plenty of fruits uh, ripening. When I grew this outside, these were probably three times as big, but that's fine. They still taste good. They're great for a salad. All right, so red nibbler looking all right. Tiny tin looking okay. Uh, in front of those two peppers back there is my lemon which has lost all but like three of its leaves. However, the lemon that was there is still hanging on. So that's cool. Looks here like I got some flowers coming in as well. Uh, I don't know if these are okay, but they're there. Oh, hurry up and warm up outside so I can get this plant out of here. I don't, I don't think it likes it in here. Um, Moving on, let's see, in the back here we got my orange spice jalapeno. It's looking great. Plenty of fruits to harvest from that. Next to that is the ristra pepper. Looking fabulous. No issues there. Lots of fruit to harvest from there. Then we have one of my taquito peppers. Fruits coming in on it. Wouldn't that be cool if I'm able to keep these alive for just a few months more and move those back outside into the green stalk? Because here's the other one. It too has new fruits coming in. So no issues there. I applaud you. My tomato plant doing great. Probably needs this unit cleaned out. But other than that, we got fruits ripening and that looks good. 
So, no complaints up here. None. I mean, you know, this lemon isn't pretty, but it's alive, and that's saying a lot. <laughs> all right, let's move down. Here's all my, let me turn off this fan. Okay, here's all my herbs that I started. They look great. Uh, we got cilantro, we got dill, we got parsley. Is that all I put in there? Dill, 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 cilantro, nope, cilantro, cilantro. Parsley. Anything down there? Oh, fennel. These are fennel. And then this is dill. Okay. Everything looks great. Uh, it could use some water. It could use some water. But aside from that, I don't have any casualties in here. That's wonderful news. Fantastic. So those will be going out here in about a month, I'm going to say. They'll be easy to keep alive up until then. <sighs> Whew. Wow. And finally in here is this unit that I have, my bootstrap farmer. See if anything is coming up in here. Uh... Yeah, we got some stuff coming up. What all did I plant in here? Some. Okay, lavender is coming up, it looks like. Yeah, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Whatever. Five. So, okay, so lavenders are coming up. That's the first five rows. Nothing from the echinaceas yet. Uh, looks like the mint is coming up. These two are mint, and I'm seeing babies here and here. So mint is about to sprout. That's the mountain mint. Uh, back here is spearmint. So spearmint's coming up. And uh, okay, all right. I'm not. I'm not disappointed with this at all. Uh, I started those back on February 11th. So, okay. Um, things feel really moist in there. So, I think things just need some more time. I'm really hoping to see something from these rows because these have those Allen's Pride Echinaceas that I'm really excited about. What's that? Two, three, four, five, six. Row six, row six, row six. Oh, that's it. <gasps> Ooh, look. We got... We got some echinacea. That's an echinacea. And that back there is an echinacea. All right. Yahoo. Friends, I almost forgot. I had some um, leafy greens that I put out before I left. So these are all those parsleys that I was growing. Um, I don't know in the house i showed you those uh and i put them outside probably a week before i left and same with all of these this is uh some of that golden beauty cabbage we got some at uh, this is dwarf siberian kale it looks good same with this cabbage winter density lettuce not so great i've not had any luck with that uh some more kind of lettuce it's bolting but we had all that heat last week and today is no different this is bolting too hmm. today's supposed to be 71 degrees uh but yay so everything i planted is doing what i do and then over here this is some yarrow that i had if you remember i had the uh valerian and yarrow those were uh being kept in the terrarium i took them out and brought them out here what a week or so ago and they seem to be doing fine 
This is some more Dwarf Siberian Kale here. I have one Perpetual Spinach that is hanging on. And then this was a mystery plant. I thought I would know what it was. Uh, but it doesn't smell like anything. doesn't look like anything. So I'm just going to pull that. Uh, maybe I'll plant some more Perpetual Spinach. All right. All right, friends, that does it for me. Thanks for visiting me today and checking out my plants, my little plant tour. Like I was starting to say before, I have but one, well, I guess you can, they were different plants, so call it five casualties, but they were all in that one arrow garden. And aside from that, everything else fared well. So I think I did good. I came away mostly, mostly unscathed. Um, I did not have Tim Water, anything. I wanted to see if I could get it to stay or everything to stay alive on my own and so uh he didn't water one thing he didn't touch anything he didn't change any lights i automated everything that i could i watered down everything that i could and everything that survived is because it had the will to live and because of what i did in preparation for taking off for that long okay friends if you have any questions drop them in the comments don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll be back on another day with another video until then happy growing